Hello, here's another book for today. Some of you have heard this before. It's called No Jumping on the Bed, and it's a really funny book written by Ted Arnold. You'll notice the illustrations are pretty funny. He always has really good illustrations in his books. It's just one name, so that means that he is the author and the illustrator. This book is a little beat up, so some of the pages are gonna come apart. In his room near the top floor of a tall apartment building, Walter was getting ready for bed. His father said, if I told you once, I told you a million times, no jumping on the bed. One day it's gonna crash right through the floor. Now lie down and go to sleep. You can tell somebody did not take care of this book. Walter plopped down on his pillow and squeezed his eyes closed. Good night, said his father. He turned off the light and pulled the door almost shut. The room was dark and quiet, except for a soft thump, thump, thump coming from the room above. That's Delbert upstairs, thought Walter. He switched on his lamp. If Delbert can jump on his bed, so can I. Walter jumped higher and higher until his hair brushed the ceiling. When he landed, the mattress creaked, the floor cracked, and his whole bed tipped up sideways. Then down through the floor went Walter, bed and all. Oh no, his dad was right. He jumped on the bed and went through the floor. Look at that. Walter lives in an apartment building, so his bed went down through somebody else's house. Walter's bedroom was directly above Miss Hattie's dining room. She was quite surprised when Walter landed in her spaghetti and meatballs. I was not expecting company for dinner, she mumbled with a mouthful of meatballs. Here he comes. Look at her wide eyes. She's just sitting here eating. What would you do if somebody came crashing through your ceiling and landed on your food? That would be pretty scary. Mmm, said Walter. Spaghetti is my favorite. But he didn't have a chance to eat. His bed smashed through the table and kept right on crashing down through the floor. Down and down fell Walter. Miss Hattie, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Oh no, he took Miss Hattie with him. Here she comes. Down through the floor. Are they gonna go into someone else's apartment? Mr. Matty didn't even notice a bed coming through his ceiling until a meatball bounced off his head. Miss Hattie landed in his lap and Walter splashed into his aquarium. I already had one bath tonight, said Walter. He wanted to watch the monsters on TV, but his bed crunched through the floor and took the TV with it. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Matty, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. The only person who seems happy is Walter. Let's see where he's gonna end up next. Walter's Aunt Batty had just moved in. She was still unpacking when Miss Hattie, Mr. Matty, and a dripping wet Walter tumbled through the ceiling right into a box with her stamp collection. Look at all these people going through the ceiling. This is a silly book. Walter burst through the bottom of the box and down through the floor. Aunt Batty soon followed. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Matty, Aunt Batty, the stamps, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Look at all of them. Patty and Natty had worked for days building a house of blocks. Afraid that Fatty Cat might knock it over, they shooed her out. Then the upstairs neighbors came through the ceiling. Excuse us, said Walter. We won't be staying long. Then his bed crashed through the floor. 
Oh no. How would you feel if you built a big tall tower and people came crashing through? They worked hard on that. I bet they didn't expect somebody to come through the ceiling. Down and down, Bill Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Maddie, Aunt Batty, Patty, Natty, Fatty Cat, the blocks, the stamps, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Are you guys hearing some rhyming words? I'm hearing some words that sound the same. Patty, Maddie, Batty, Patty, Natty, Fatty? The last thing Mr. Hand Ratty expected to see was a bed coming through his ceiling, followed by nearly everyone in the building. If I knew you wanted to see my paintings, he said, I would have tidied up a bit. Who's he painting a picture of? That's called a self-portrait. He's painting a picture of himself. The funny thing about that picture is, it's a picture of him looking up at the ceiling. Then his floor caved in and everyone followed Walter's bed down through the hole. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Matty, Aunt Batty, Patty, Natty, Fatty Cat, Mr. Hanratty, cans of paint, the blocks, the stamps, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Walter's still smiling. He's been falling down the whole building with all these people. I wonder when they're going to get to the bottom. Maestro Ferlinghetti and his string quartet were astonished by the colorful crowd that dropped in unannounced. I love the audience, he said. But when paint splattered everywhere, the maestro wished this audience would leave, and they did, taking his string quartet with them. I don't think he wanted his musicians to have paint all over them. Look at all of that stuff falling from the ceiling. The maestro's floor was also the basement ceiling. It was dark as midnight down there. Walter squeezed his eyes closed and fell through the darkness until he landed on something soft. He opened his eyes. Everything was in its place. And outside the door, his mother and father were talking quietly. Whew. No more jumping on the bed for me, said Walter, as he lay back down to sleep. Do you think that happened in real life or do you think he dreamed it? Suddenly he heard a creak, the ceiling cracked and down came Delbert, bed and all. Down and down fell Delbert. What's it called when we read a story that's made up and it's not real life? It's called a fiction story. When it's true and it's real, it's called nonfiction. So this is a fiction story. This would not happen in real life, but it's pretty silly and funny to think about. I hope you enjoyed this book and I can't wait to read to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. I love you.